Good day, everyone, and welcome to Weekly Trading Ideas. My name is Nenad, and as always with you, each uh, mo Monday, uh, we see some weekly trading ideas. However, today we have a bank holiday in the US, so market is a bit ranging, and uh, there is no clear trend. So because of that, we need to be very careful when we make setups. Before I start having minded Forex and see if they are leveraged products and can result in losses, that exceed your deposit. So they, those are not suitable for everyone. Please ensure that you fully understand risk involved and have in mind that everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, please pause the screen and watch Trading Rules again. This video is being up, uh, is, uh, is being recorded and it will be uploaded to YouTube channel. Uh, so Euro dollar basically is in a neutral uh, mode now. And uh, we can see that uh, the euro dollar is there is a potential for the price to go further up. So I would say that uh, uh, basically we can have both buy and short, uh, buy, buy, uh, both buy and uh, sell trades. So I would sell that, uh, I would say that 10, uh, 11, 25 is a sell. Okay, to 10, 11, 15 to 35. Uh, stop loss goes uh, at 11.65 and the target here is where our long trade possibly can happen and it's 0 0.980. Alternative buy is 0 0.980, 0 0.930 with final target at 25. So this is the euro dollar. It is... Uh, pretty much neutral uh, there is a potential for a rejection however there is also uh, it's a bank holiday now so the price is not governed by big banks there on holiday so tomorrow uh, the trend will resume or eventually during uh, a later session in a tokyo session so i guess that the price could go up and sell from this zone there uh, regarding the GBP dollar, of course, uh, buying the dip on the GBP dollar is an option now, and the price should drop a little bit further. I would honestly go with 2460. I know that this is a bit tempting, but 2460 is where price could probably reverse. So 2460, 2400 is um, is the stop loss, and 2690. So 24. 60 so i would say 2450 to 70 20, stop loss is 24 and 2660 is tp uh, honestly i i will be looking to buy the dip on the gbp dollar the australian dollar has the meeting minutes and uh, as i say it's a bit uh, the price is a bit, bit uh, nervous. It goes up and down with this inverted head and shoulders, but shoulder head, shoulder formation as the big picture. So I would say 68 to 68.10 is a sell. And that is what I think could happen. So 68.00 to 68.10. Okay. And the price uh, for the stop loss, 68.50. 68.50 is a stop loss with the target at uh, around uh, 66.98. So 66.98. I would say 66.90. Uh, dollar yen is, I think it's an uptrend as I lost. Yes, definitely uptrend. So 108 to uh, 208 15. So this is the buy position. I would place stop loss 50 pips below 107.50. And uh, the final target here is okay, 109.85. Uh, gold. We go to gold. Okay. Neutral. Neutral. A bit neutral. 
So 1510 is a sell, 1475 is a buy. So positional buy is 1475. 14, let's say 470 around guys 75 we cannot be that precise because pip count is a little bit different than to forex market 1510 is uh, tp and alternative sell is entry is one is 1510 stop loss 15 15 potential target is 1475 always protect your uh, profits when you are in profit uh, and finally bitcoin let's see the bitcoin downtrend and i guess the price is going to drop this looks like a downtrend 82.60 80 to 60 stop losses 8360 and the target here is 7734 so this is uh these are setups for uh, this uh today for actually today tomorrow and potentially the day after tomorrow for more setups and live trading ideas, go to ECS uh, website and sign up for uh, ECS live service where we uh, present uh, trading ideas with signals, clear entries, targets, management. And of course, uh, you can go also for Camarilla MACD quickly with questions. Uh, so, uh, Euro Swissy. Euro Swissy, okay. Let's see the Euro Swissy. Euro Swissy is in uptrend, and if the price drops towards 1.0852, it's good to go long. This is uptrend. Eventually, it can go from this level because it's an order block. So, this is uptrend. Velislav, uptrend on Euro Swissy. Uh, GBP New Zealand. I'm going to buy the dip on the GBP New Zealand. That's the fact. But uh, I need a signal from my system to go long because the price is, uh, well, you will see it, it, it's retracing. But I, I, I watched uh, GBP New Zealand. But I didn't uh, see any uh, signal to go uh, long because the price needs to drop here approximately towards uh, 98.60 or 97.56 this this is even better 97.56 and then i i will go long so i'm going to wait for a dip of course it can also proceed up from this level because it's an order block so either from here or a drop there and then a u-turn uh euro new zealand let me check the euro new zealand Okay, let's see Euro New Zealand. Okay, I don't see it here. I'm sure I pulled it out somewhere. I'm not particularly a big fan of Euro New Zealand, but I also think it can go up. Uh, yeah, this was the last signal to go long and a re entry from this spot. So, this is uptrend. So, this is the first signal. This is re entry. Obviously, this is going to go up. And this also is a signal the price almost touched Bollinger Band. So, yeah, this is going to go up, but it needs to close above 75.55 for a further continuation to the upside. It needs to close above this level. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the analysis. As I say, this is uh, quickly trading ideas uh, where for this week. And I hope that we will make pips, guys, together. Of course, as I say, for a full uh, system, go to EliteCurrency.com. You will get also ECS live subscription. Thank you for listening. I will be with you soon. And as always, enjoy. Cheers and trade safe.